What's up, y'all? Subscribe back with another video, and I'm here to do a recap of Brandon Ingram's media day interview. Now, James Worthy and the other reporter asked Brandon Ingram, "What did he do this summer?" And all he said was visit family in North Carolina, his birthplace, and just play basketball. He doesn't really go out a lot, even though he's in LA. But when he was in LA, he just plays basketball and just be in the gym. And this is a surprise to me because Bi is a very hard worker, as he's shown this past offseason and the offseason before. His main stress this year was to be consistent. And he's kind of struggled last year with being consistent. So some months he'll average 17 points a game. In December, I think he averaged 17 a game. And then January, he had a very rough January month. But in February, he averaged 18 points a game with five assists and five rebounds, shooting 50% from the field and 50% from three point range. And usually for young guys to show if they're going to improve the next season, you have to look at their later months or post All-Star break. And Brandon Ingram post All-Star break numbers are very good. So as long as we see the Brandon Ingram that we saw in February, you know, with the ball handling and the playmaking and the good defense, I feel like we'll be fine this season as his third year, only being 21 years of age. So obviously everyone knows that Brandon Ingram worked out with Michael Lancaster. Michael Lancaster worked out with Victor Ladipo, Kyrie Irving. Carl Anthony Towns and many other great NBA players. And the main thing he said working for him himself is to get his body right because I think he only played like 59 games last season. So he wants to be healthy throughout the whole season to help the Lakers win. So he just did stretches. He Everything that nagged in his body, he rolled out. He helped with his trainers and stuff. And despite the frame, Brandon Ingram has been in the weight room. I don't know his exact weight right now, but he has been in the weight room every day, as he said. And with this comes that he's very confident. And you can see how Brandon Ingram talks to the media that he's just a different player than he was last season and the year before. He's not as quiet and timid as he was. So a confident Brandon Ingram, as we saw last year, is a good Brandon Ingram, a very good Brandon Ingram, I should say. One of the things B.I. struggled in the NBA is three-point shooting. And Brandon Ingram said that he never really struggled with this, you know, throughout his whole life playing basketball, basically. So basically part of the dreams, he's been doing a lot of off-ball work, you know, catch and shoot, obviously playing off LeBron James and Ray John Rondo and a lot of pass first players. So that was the main thing he tried to get down this season, repetition, you know, in the gym and game speed mostly. And James Worthy asked what type of player Brent Ingram hopes to be this season, and he just basically said that he wants to do everything like he did, you know, last year, a Swiss Army Knight type of player. He can pass, rebound. He wants to improve his defense, his shooting, his off-ball work, and his on-ball work. Basically, B.I. said that this season, this is it. This is the season that he shows everybody. He puts on a, a show for everybody in L.A. He said he's going to be guarded by the second best player. I mean, that confidence is just oozing the right offense. And I feel like he cook any team's second best player on the offensive end coming this season, even though he's only going to be 21 years old. And a lot of people are skeptical as who's going to start, Kyle Kuzma or Ingram. I feel like they're both going to get a lot of minutes, and I'm pretty sure Ingram is going to start. You know, I feel like Ingram is already a better player. I feel like they both can start. I feel like Ingram can play the two guard, depending on how he shoots his free throws and how he shoots his three pointers. Obviously, Kyle Kuzma can play the three or the four. And I like the pressure Ingram is putting on himself. Usually, a lot of people in the Lakers can't put pressure on him because he has a lot of potential himself. But he put these goals on himself, and he told basically the whole world that he's gonna he's coming this year, basically. And I agree. I feel like. Ingram is going to average around 19 points a game, 6 rebounds, 6 assists with good efficiency. And I hope, I pray that Brent Ingram takes more three-pointers. He didn't take a lot last year, but he still shot a good percentage, so I hope his confidence grew that much so he can take off-ball three-pointers. I don't even think he took an off-ball three-pointer last year. I can't even remember. And I hope they lessen his ISO time because he wasn't really a good ISO player based off the metrics. I hope he plays a lot of off-ball and a lot of closing out on defenses and attacking the, the weak defender that'd be all for this video make sure you comment anything else you want to see make sure you subscribe if you're new and make sure you please like the video please it'll mean a lot for me just like the video it takes two seconds thank you i'm out